what in cousin fucking tarnation Alabama Betty Crocker Miss fucking Betty White shit is this? All right, your name is Blake Shelton. Here I am. It's nice to meet you. It seems you're the first country singer that I've interviewed. What do you think of the prospects of recruiting you to our company? You're wasting your time. Why do you say that? I'm a rebel. Well, I don't think that's such a bad thing. Why don't you tell me what you did at your previous job? We turn the dirt and work until the week's done. Excellent. We could use an employee with farming experience. Why did you decide to leave your farm? Didn't come with a 401k. That makes sense. Just so you know, our company offers an excellent benefits package, including a 401k. How do you feel about the prospect of joining our company now? Like a pig the mud. What? Like a cow cut. Okay. What type of work do you want to do? I don't care. Well, we want to find something meaningful for you to do in this company. So what would you say is the most fun thing you've ever done at work in your life? I'm a poor grease in a Crisco can. That's perfect. I was just saying to myself this morning, I wish I could find someone to pour all the grease into the Crisco cans. I'll be your honeybee. Wonderful. Mr. Shelton, you're hired. Drinking beer with my girl in my truck where the corn grows. Country music windows down. Drinking beer with my girl in my truck where the corn grows. Country music windows down. Tearing up some back roads. America Tractor is farmed in a small town. Party every day. And we're going to Drinking day. beer with my girl in my truck where the corn grows. Country music windows down. Tearing up some back All the people saying, poor coyote, it broke his arm. It just holds him, it don't even break the skin. Canada's dark secret. If you live in Canada, you have access to great healthcare and are genuinely safe. Have a good education system, anyone can be proud to be from there. Unless you're native. Murdered and missing indigenous women. Indigenous women and girls face a murder rate six times the national average. The government has claimed to solve the problem of targeted abduction and murder of people native to Canada. Canada will only admit to a small number of indigenous women have been abducted, but advocacy groups have the real number at almost four times that amount. In 2015, the government claimed to fix relations with the indigenous women, but have delayed it and not even completed it to this day. Canada is a great place to live, unless you're native. Then you have the highest chances of being found wrapped in plastic in the bottom of the Red River, Victim to the secret Canadian genocide. There you go. Sitting down. Dude told me to take a seat somewhere. Listen, bud. That's my name right there. It's my truck. It's where we live at. Fields. There's my other truck. There's my boat. You know, closest house is a mile that way. Actually, the closest road's a mile that way. Um, so, yeah. So, what makes it our country? Let me take a wild guess. My hat, skin tone, my chains. The way I dress? Oh, huh. well then, based on everybody else, <laughs> you, my friend, are a fucking idiot. Sorry, bud. This message is for everybody that's tired of watching this country be treated the way it has been. And like I've said previously, if you don't already know, I represent the silent majority. And I don't know if you should even call it silent anymore, because we're getting louder. We're tired of the disrespect, tired of watching our country be torn apart, and we're here to put a stop to it. And just so you know that there's other people out there like us, I started this movement four days ago. Yesterday I had 6,200 followers. And this morning, I have a little over 15,000. I'm here to be your voice, to represent us. We're tired of being stepped on, thrown around, told our opinions don't matter, and overlooked by the media. The media does nothing but spread opinionated news and false information. Every time we try to stand up, it gets overlooked and we're tired of being overlooked. If you're just as fed up as I am, go give this video a like and a follow. Share it, duet it, get the word out there as much as possible. We're coming. 
Well, finally marked off the last thing on my bucket list for living out in the country. When we moved out here a year and a half ago, I knew we had to get a storm shelter because we do live in a part of Alabama that gets tornadoes regularly, but we also kind of live in a little valley, so we're personally normally protected, but you can't be too safe. So we finally got this installed this week, and I am so thankful. I feel so much better because our youngest daughter also lives up here, and we have a grandbaby on the way, and so I just want to make sure that if our family is here when a storm comes, that we're protected. So it supposedly holds four to six people, which is great. You know, we do have a Great Dane as a grand puppy. Ashley has Milo, and so he may have to be hogtied to get him down in there, but it will be fine. Um, unfortunately, Pepper won't be with us probably by the time we need it, so it'll be perfect for me and Tony, Ashley, and Milo, and maybe a grandbaby. For all my construction dudes, if a girl can get 500,000 likes for shaking her ass, how many likes can we get for pulling nails out of her legs? Hey! Is it on, Jerry? Yes, it is. Oh. Let's go. Let's start. Hello, my name is Yusuf. And my name is Yuri. And we are twin brothers from Soviet, Soviet Russia. Russia. And we are today auditioning for the American Idol. We are going to Just be singing our national anthem. Of Russia, the greatest country on earth. Bro, with the, the stop, stop, stop it, you said. No American music, you but, dumbass. But Jake Paul, no, stop, stop, no Jake Paul. These here are shooting discs. Shooting discs. You shoot them. I'm going to break it. Warning, do not do this at home. Just don't do it. I can even keep covering it to protect my hands, okay? Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for giving me the ability to break this and just thing out. World finally starting to go back to normal. And then, they install a roundabout in rural Kentucky and everyone loses their mind and ability to drive.
Thank you.